Hello, Stony Brook, Mr. Wilfing here. Welcome to our third installment of the quarterly updates. In this update, I'll provide you with some information about district initiatives as well as information related to some topics here at Stony Brook. Let's take a look at some of what is happening district wide. The image on this slide serves as a visual metaphor of the work we at Stony Brook Elementary School have been engaged in throughout the year. Information relative to all of the areas featured in the schoolhouse illustration is presented throughout this slideshow. Each has served as a significant area of focus for us this year. In sharing this information with you, it is my hope that you will be better informed about your school and the work we are doing in support of your child. This year, teachers at Stony Brook Elementary School have been working to ensure that our instruction is meeting expectations detailed in the National Common Core State Standards. Teachers, parents, and community leaders across the country have helped to create the Common Core State Standards. These standards are national in scope, having been formally adopted in New Jersey and 44 other states. The goal of the Common Core State Standards is to communicate consistent expectations for students at each grade level in classrooms across the country, thus enabling teachers to know what students need and to plan instruction accordingly. The Common Core State Standards focus on core conceptual understandings and procedures starting in early grades, enabling teachers to take the time to teach core concepts and procedures well, and giving students the opportunity to master them. In the past, the New Jersey Core Curriculum Content Standards provided us with guidance in curriculum development and instructional planning. At present, Hopewell Valley, along with school districts across the state and nation, is revisiting, revising, and refining practices to ensure that we meet full implementation of the Common Core State Standards by New Jersey's target the 2013-2014 school year. New Jersey Department of Education has mandated that all districts across the state maintain curriculum in a dynamic online format. Hopewell Valley teachers are currently creating unit plans in Curriculum Framer, an online planning tool that incorporates the Understanding by Design model for instructional design. UBD works within the standards-driven curriculum to help teachers clarify learning goals, devise assessments that reveal student understanding, and craft effective and engaging learning activities. This is the second year that teachers at Stony Brook School are planning and inputting unit goals and learning events into this online tool. By 2015, New Jersey is expected to transition from the administration of the current New Jersey Assessment of Skills and Knowledge, or NJASC, to the Partnership for Assessment of Readiness of College and Careers, otherwise known as PARC. The PARC is expected to be a computer-based national assessment aligned to the Common Core State Standards. To yield data more tailored and connected to our curriculum, our district is creating benchmark assessments in the core content areas of reading and language arts, mathematics, science, and social studies. These assessments are also being created in additional areas such as music. These assessments are tied to our curriculum and will be used to track student growth throughout the year. They will also help us ensure that mastery of curricular objectives is aligned across all schools in the district. We make great efforts to ensure that the needs of our young learners are met. In addition to the differentiated approach to instruction present across our K-5 classrooms, we have developed specific programs to provide additional targeted support to students' varied needs. Our Response to Intervention program offers a research-based intervention process that provides targeted assistance to identified students. 
These students are identified through a reliable and measured screening process, a process that is consistent across all of the Hopewell Valley Elementary Schools. This process is established, supported, and reviewed by homeroom teachers, support teachers, and the school's RTI team, a school-based group comprised of our teachers, counselor, learning consultant, and principal. In addition to RTI support, our exceptionally able programs and WIN instruction continues. Grade level groupings based on students' strengths, needs, and interests meet regularly in our school. Teachers continue to meet to discuss student progress in these areas and plan for the continuation of appropriate supports. Our teachers are assessing data management systems to ensure that student performance data is driving instructional decision making. The district content area benchmark assessments and state assessment reports are being created using our Performance Matters assessment and data management system. This system includes banks of high quality test items, our district created assessments, and an ability to generate interactive reports all used to monitor student achievement and differentiate instruction. AIMSWeb is an assessment system that provides the framework for RTI implementation and tiered instruction. It offers assessments for universal screening and progress monitoring of students receiving reading support, as well as web-based data management, charting, and reporting. Data collected through the RTI process informs our instruction. Hopewell Valley Regional School District, under the direction of the New Jersey Department of Education, has embarked upon a new teacher and administrator evaluation system that will be implemented in September. Substantial changes to our current process include an additional year added to the tenure process, moving from three years to four years, four defined annual rating categories for teachers, principals, assistant principals, and supervisors. Highly effective, effective, partially effective, and ineffective. Evaluations will also be linked to student achievement data. The district has chosen the Charlotte Danielson framework for staff evaluation, which evaluates teachers related to four domains planning and preparation, classroom environment, instruction, and professional responsibilities. The goal of all this work is to improve teaching and learning. The teaching staff at Stony Brook Elementary has many exemplary skills and an earnest desire to continue to grow professionally and to refine their craft. As principal, my role is to support this continued professional development so our teachers are able to provide our students with the highest quality education possible. I look forward to providing continued support in this and all areas. Incorporating all of this into our instructional program is a daunting task. To ensure success in these and all areas across the school, our teachers are committed to working collaboratively in support of our students and each other. Our teachers will be working in high-functioning teams as professional learning communities, or PLC. The overarching precepts of a PLC approach are as follows. We accept learning as the fundamental purpose of our school and therefore are willing to examine all practices in light of their impact on learning. We are committed to working together to achieve our collective purpose. We cultivate a collaborative culture through development of high performing teams. We assess our effectiveness on the basis of results rather than intentions. Individuals, teams, and schools seek relevant data and information and use that information to promote continuous improvement. An integral part of developing our PLCs includes recognizing that we must commit to making a necessary shift from the thinking of the past 
to what is more appropriate and beneficial today, shifting from a focus on teaching to a focus on learning, from an emphasis on what was taught to a fixation on what was learned, from coverage of content to demonstration of mastery, and from providing individual teachers with curriculum documents such as state standards and curriculum guides to engaging collaborative teams in building shared knowledge regarding essential curriculum. This shift in paradigm also necessitates a shift in the structure of the school. The image of an isolated teacher planning on her own and teaching a lesson from behind closed doors is an antiquated one. The independent kingdoms model was the pervasive structure in American education for years and is still in place in many places today. Some schools have moved beyond that to a model in which teachers coordinate their instruction with grade level teams. Those even more highly evolved also incorporate vertical articulation, encouraging teachers from varied grade levels to come together and review learning goals and events across the school years. At Stony Brook, we strive to go beyond that our PLC teams aim to work as collaborative teams among and across grade levels, sharing a consistent foundation, one built upon shared purpose, shared vision, a commitment to collaboration, and a shared set of goals tied to student achievement and measured performance. I'm excited for this work and the collective benefits for all. I look forward to providing you future updates as we work together to advance the development of Stony Brook's professional learning community. Since the last update, my friends and I have met for a school-wide meeting to continue our conversation about the theme, Students Grow Here. During the meeting, we shared the six secrets of being a good friend. Each grade level presented one of the secrets. Kindergarten gave us all a popsicle stick to remind us that sticks and stones can break our bones, but names always hurt us. First grade gave us a mailing label to remind us to avoid labeling and judging people. Second graders gave us cotton balls to represent soft words or apologies. Next, third grade offered us a series of inspirational quotes to encourage us to always focus on being positive. Fourth grade shared some sweets in a random act of kindness. And finally, fifth grade provided us with a Ziploc bag to hold all of our secrets and to remind us that if we don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. At the conclusion of this school meeting, each student went back up to class and received there a Ziploc bag filled with these visual reminders. In addition to the school meeting, we got together to enjoy an Indian Cultural Assembly on February 27th, sponsored by the PTO and put together by a few of our parents here at Stony Brook. Students have begun participating in March Madness Basketball Tournament. It's been taking place after school. Very excited about the finals taking place next week. And we also had the Science Expo here. It was a huge hit. It's great to see so many students involved in exploring various science topics. In addition, on that day, we had a fantastic presentation from Mad Science. The principal's reading challenge is underway. Students have been challenged to try to outread their teachers at each grade level. And on April 15th, we're going to have Wear Your Genre Today. Each grade level has been assigned a different genre of literature. And on April 15th, students and staff are encouraged to dress up in their genre. Kindergarten students have nursery rhymes. First grade is reading nonfiction, specifically about animals. 
second grade is reading fairy tales, third grade has biography, fourth grade mystery, and fifth grade historical fiction. A few final reminders. Our school day starts here at 835. You're dropping your student off. After that time, you need to be escorted into the building and signed in. While we're moving in and out of our parking lot, be sure to follow all the safety rules that are in place. If you're sitting and waiting for your children at dismissal time, please be mindful not to leave our cars running and idling for more than a couple of minutes. Help keep everyone safe and our environment healthy. And lastly, we encourage everyone to please take time to visit Infinite Campus to ensure that all the information on their account is up to date and also remind everyone that uh, you'll find your students report cards posted here on Infinite Campus uh, at the close of each marking period as we are in a completely paperless system uh, when it comes to report cards. That concludes this quarterly update. Our final update will come to you later this spring and we'll focus on our efforts to finish this school year out strong and our plans to continue to grow and make improvements over the summer and into this next school year. Until then, please feel free to contact me here at Stony Brook if you have any questions regarding the information presented in this update or any other school related matter. A reminder to everyone that spring break begins on Friday, March 29th, and will run until April 7th. School will resume on April 8th. Until then, happy spring, and we'll see you real soon.